grew up in Cedar Rapids. Cedar Rapids, Iowa State, graduated Iowa State, moved to Marshalltown for one year. I took a job in uh, Fisher Controls in Marshalltown, and, and really it was a great job. I just didn't fit the corporate culture. Fisher Control is a very large company, and I wanted to control my own destiny. So a friend of mine here in Des Moines, Henry Oaks, had Oaks Engineering. He grew up with my dad. I asked him if he would hire me and get me on the road to a small practice. He said, no, I'm too small, go up and talk to uh, John McClure. On a summer afternoon, I drove from Marshalltown to Fort Dodge, met John McClure at the Holiday Inn, which he owned, some other investors we met for dinner. We bonded the minute I met him. He became, ended up almost becoming a second father to me. We just, for some reason, his personality and mine meshed really well, and I was really impressed with just John, basically. And he made me an offer for considerably less than what I was making, and I took the job. Moved to Fort Dodge in 1978, didn't know a soul. Went from wearing a three-piece suit every day to wearing blue jeans and on a survey crew. John's management style, too, was, was pretty cool. He, he did provide you a lot of guidance, gave you a project, expected you to be resourceful, and uh, he would put you in, the, in front of the firing squad and see how well you did. And he made sure that he didn't hang you out to dry. I uh, helped John write a water report for the town of Rockwell, Iowa. And we were literally in the car, the report was done in draft form. We were in the car driving from Fort Dodge to Rockwell one night. And uh, on the way there, he said, oh, Terry, you're going to present the report. And that's as much preparation as I had. So I presented it, and John sat there and listened and, and uh, made some, you know, kind of chimed in. And it went really well. And as a result of that, the city of Rockwell became a very good client of mine. But that's kind of how John challenged us and managed us. But John was a real salesman. He was called the silver tongue by some. He had silver hair, and you know, he's a good-looking guy, dressed well, and, and I always said, John was the only guy that could walk into a room with a bunch of farmers with a plaid sport coat and white shoes on and convince them to spend a bunch of money. But he had a way with people that people just really resonated with John. He was just a great guy. He had a lot of charisma, and, and I think that's what attracted me to John the day I met him.